my goodness. Hi guys. I hope you are doing well. I am afraid today's video is going to be a little loud because not only do I have my two beautiful, amazing grandbabies here, um, which they're here like four days a week. My daughter, Alicia, actually works in the office, so I get to have them here quite often, blessed and highly favored. But my grand dog is here as well, so we've got my dog. My grand dog, who they like to run around and bark because, you know, they're dogs. And then I've got the two babies who think that Gigi should play with them 24-7. I just had to peel them off my desk. They were helping me pick my oils. So today my diffuser has clarity and envision. Good choices, I think. It smells really good in case you want to try that. But I just put some on as well because that's what the grandbabies picked and um just threw some on and it's just been one of those fun days because listen you got it you got to enjoy the journey and my grandbabies my family is a huge part of who i am so hopefully it won't get too loud for you i just tell the, tell them to let the dogs outside he's got a big fenced in area for him so hopefully you won't hear all that but if you do i apologize in advance and if it bugs you too much you might want to step on for the next video that we do. So this is our brand partner chat. So today we're just going to be talking some business principles. And the business principle I want to talk about today is finding your story and what that means. And you have to understand that when it comes to really sharing Young Living, that's all we do is we share our story. Because I need you to understand that facts and, and data and the chemical constituents and, and all of the the science and the science that some of you just absolutely love and adore, that only attracts about 25% of the people. The other 75% of the people, our brains are wired differently. We are wired to hear stories, listen to stories, and retell stories. It's the way our brain works. It helps us to um, memorize things. That helps us to, a story helps us to elicit an emotion, and that emotion is part of the reason why we choose to do the things we do. We don't choose to buy a car because of all of the science that we heard about the car, or how that engine works, or, we choose it in that moment because that color sitting in that car, it felt good. You could visualize all of your kids in the back seat and, and everything the way it's supposed to. Or you could visualize yourself going down, woo, going down the road. Or, or you could visualize plugging it in because the electric really means something to you. you. It was an emotional response that helps us to make decisions. But the most important thing, especially when it comes to young living, is I want people to remember the conversations. I want them to be able to turn around and share them really easy. I want that focus in your story is a part of that. And understanding that you have multiple stories. If you're using your Young Living and you're using your products, you're gonna have all kinds of stories. So most of you guys have heard my story. I was introduced to Young Living back in 2007. I was introduced against my will. I wanted nothing to do with it. It was just not, I didn't like the smell of oils. I didn't like anything about the fact that it was a sales company. The MLM turned me off, like all kinds of different things. And my stalker, she stalked me down for months. She was just sharing at our lunch and learn the other day of um, coming over to our house with a CD in a baggie and she was going to put it on the door and somebody opened the door like this woman stalked me down right and she kept going because she had used the product she had an amazing experience she was using I believe it was Ninja Rod and after just a short period of time her vision had just really some massive changes for her nighttime vision and it just meant a lot to her and she knew if it worked for her it could work for me and she ordered the raindrop oils because she wanted to try them. I believe it was on her granddaughter. But once she got them, she's like, Shannon, let's put these oils on you. I'm like, no, thank you. I don't want to smell like that. We went through that process over and over again. Her kept bugging me. Me kept saying no. And finally, one day after several months, I let her come to my house and she threw those oils on my neck from the base of my hairline to about the middle of my back. And my life was radically and dramatically changed. like radically and dramatically changed. I have never been the same. And because of that, I, I tell other people about Young Living because how do you not? My life was changed, I gotta tell other people. That's just um, a piece of my story. Now, that story that I shared, 
there's times where I will share that in a 30 minute session. There's times where I will say, my girlfriend introduced me to these oils. I was not interested, but I'm telling you what, she put the raindrop oils on my neck and I was radically and dramatically changed. So I can do it in a 30 second story. I can do it in a 30 minute story. I bet you I could make it even longer because so many amazing things happened in that first intro. My life was radically changed. And for those of you that have heard my story, you remember it. There's an emotional connection. I'm talking about my mom and the fact that she had lung cancer and it was throughout her lungs. And we were told when she was diagnosed, it's chemo and radiation. And even then, you just have a few weeks. And the process that we went through in changing the chemicals and moving the stuff out of her life. And two years later, before we were introduced to Young Living, my mom was still alive. And when Young Living came in, the hope that it gave her, just the, the mental change in that first meeting was amazing. Like before Young Living came into our life, my mom had given up hope. She kept telling me, baby girl, I know where I'm going. I'm okay, I'm okay. I wasn't okay, but mom was. She was good, she knew where she was going. But when Young Living came in and my friend came over to my house and she threw those oils on my neck, and my mom sat there breathing her oils, she was having a completely different party. And in that meeting, my mom got hope. She got hope that her tomorrow could be different from her yesterday. And it, it was another two years using oils. My mom was able to build it to silver. She was able to build it to gold. She was able to do everything on her checklist. I mean, like, it was such a gift. My mom's life was radically and dramatically changed. And see, if you've heard my story, you remember those bibbits. You may not remember exactly what mama did, but you remember that my mom had hope. And in the end, it is the emotional connection of sharing what has happened to us. See, I don't have to embellish it. I don't have to make it bigger and better than it was because my story is enough. My story of using the crock pot, <laughs> doing chicken. I don't know how many times I do this, but doing the chicken, taking the lid off and doing in there. And I burn myself, I tap it on there, it gets hot and I keep my lavender, um, lavaderm in there, my spray bottle right in the kitchen because it happens so often. Not sure what that says about me, but it's just a part of things. So I just spray it down so I can move on and I don't have to worry about the irritation because that helps with those minor burns and stuff like that, right? So that's my story. In each of those stories, each of those experiences that you have, those are a part of you and what you need to share with other people. And what you have to remember is it doesn't have to be this huge thing. The fact that I can grab Lavaderm and spray it on and be done is huge. How many of you have ever had that happen? You bump yourself. Yeah, it doesn't have to be this huge burn. No, this is just everyday little things. Or you spent too much time out in the sun. I grabbed my Lavaderm. I sprayed it on. That's a story. That's a story that's rememberable. I can also go through all the ingredients that are in the Labaderm and I can explain what each and every constituent does and why it's in there. But is that what you're gonna remember? No, it's your story. That's what's gonna, what's gonna get the people. That's what's gonna share it. So this is what I encourage you to do this week. I want you to write down every single time you use an oil, what you used it for and what was the experience. What did you what did you throw in your diffuser? How did you feel after you put that in there? Right, I told you she's got envision and um, clarity in there. Well, right now I, that clarity is huge. You see, you hear me talk about it all the time. It gives me the focus to be able. To, I've got all these notes here for our conversation. Like I I don't just willy nilly teach. You know, I've got all this these things over here. But the clarity helps me recall. And because I use clarity when I'm studying, and then I put clarity on when I go to teach, I remember the things. That's clarity, that's power. Who needs a little clarity in your life, right? So I want you to write down what you're using because I think what happens the longer you're in Young Living is you get so used to the miracles, you get so used to amazing things happening that you don't acknowledge them for what they are. It's a miracle that I can study and then have recall to be able to turn around and teach that information. That's a miracle, that is handy. So if somebody was in college, is that something important for them to know? You bet your baby. If you're a mama who has littles and you feel like you have no mental clarity anymore, do you think having a little clarity would make it through the day, would help? You make that list of things you gotta get done when you breathe in that clarity, you're 
acknowledging that and then in the afternoon the next day you can turn that clarity on in your diffuser and it helps you to remember what do you got going when are you doing it what's the list that you want to do those are all your stories those are so important but you got to remember all the vivids you got you got to write down the things as you're doing it so you drink your ninja red and it gives you that boost like who does their ninja red i do my morning ninja red but i also like having my ninja red in the afternoon around two or three because i used to have a drag where i would just i would lose that little burst of energy and i just time for a nap there's a, a chemical that your brain kicks out that says let's go to sleep and now i make sure i do my nitro my ninja nitro and my ninja red and i do that around two with some extra super b and i have that zoom i have my zoom factor back so i've got that energy so i can do the things that's a story it doesn't have to be long but i guarantee the next time you're feeling a little nappish a little sleepish you're gonna go oh i should get some vent nitro oh i should get some ninja red oh i should get some super b again each of those items like you can go to shannonhudsonyl.com and when you go there you can look at a video on each of those items individually super b it is a 45 minute class just on super b because it does so many amazing things right so i break down the science but the science is not what's going to introduce a brand new person it's not the science that's going to make them go oh, i should try it it's the thought oh my gosh you mean I might be able to think clearly? Uh, you think that my mood might improve? You think I might have some energy? If that's what I can do, man, sign me up for three or four bottles of Super B. So when it comes to building your business, it's just learning to share all of the stuff that happens in your life. And you can share that on Facebook. You can share pictures on Instagram. You can do all of the things. You can literally do a post. Who gets that afternoon slump and you just need that extra boost of energy? I gotta tell you, my best friend, and you can do the Nitro and the Super B and the Ninja. You can talk about that. You can, you, you can share your story everywhere you go. When you're out and about, use your oils. People smell you, right? So when they smell you, you share your story. You share either a 10 second little quickie bibbit or you share your whole long story. So where's the whole long story go? That goes when you're teaching a class, when you're sitting down at a one-on-one. -on -one. That's where you're gonna share that in-depth story. That's where that's gonna happen. And anytime you have one of those cool things and you write it down, figure out a way that you're gonna be able to share that. Like how, how can you best use that story? And the reason why I encourage that is there's a world of people out there that have the same stuff happening in their life. Right? Other people burn themselves. Other people are sleepy. Other people, what? What happened to you? Other people have a gut that needs some TLC, right? Other people, and because that, that there's, I've, sh I've shared it before and I'll share it again, and it's the like. Oh, I like you. They like your personality. I am so like you. I do the same thing. I burn myself every time I touch a crock pot. That's that story connection. I like you. If you like that, I'll probably like that. So I like you as a human being, as a person, we relate, we're similar. <laughs> I am so like that, I do the same thing. If you like that, I'll probably like that. Do you see that connection? But that happens through a story, that happens by you sharing you using the product. So what do you have to do? You have to use the products, you have to use a wide variety, you have to share the things you're in love with. You have to be the story, you're the billboard, so you can share all those vivids. Because I listen, culturally speaking, sharing stories is how information has been passed down for centuries story to story to story to story our brains are wired to emotionally connect to a story and then remember the things we get all these great emotions and feelings from the stories so you can um, share your story but remember this you don't have to embellish it you don't have to exaggerate your story your story can be exactly what it is amazing and a miracle on its own you can also when you're chatting with people you can make sure that you're listening to them so you know which kind of a story to share if i'm chatting to somebody and we're talking about lemon what am i going to say i'm going to say listen lemon is happy in a bottle do you know why it elicits an emotional response 
so many people are sad and depressed and feeling that loneliness that's happening. So when I tell them I have a bottle that can help you feel happy, that can help you experience those things, you know, this is for that occasional when stuff happens. I have lemon, man, it's a $10 bottle. We gotta get you some. How exciting. That's a story. If I'm talking to somebody about the energy, then I'm gonna talk about Ninja Rat. I'm gonna share a story of me using Ninja Rat, what I liked it for, what I experienced, and how so many people that get their Ninja Rat, they start drinking it, they feel really good, but they run out, and that's when they really notice the difference. They notice the difference because they don't have that extra energy or that focus because they're out of it. And I'm telling you, they grab their Ninja Rat again. That's a story. It's helping them know where that connection, why do I need this item, and what is in it for me? Because that's what they want to know. Will I actually use it? When people tell me, I shared this, I probably shared this two weeks ago, um, when people say, well, nobody actually wants to get the stuff. When I talk to them, they don't want to finish, they don't want to get it. And it's because you didn't really express to them how they're going to use it and what's in it for them. In the end, that's what people need to know. They need to know what's in it for me and will I really use this stuff. So making sure that you're sharing the stories that relate to them. So if they've got little kids, I'm gonna make sure I'm talking about stuff with my grandkids so that they can relate to the products. My um, little one, she's two years old and she, well, gonna be two. She, my granddaughter, she's got um, some more of her teeth coming in and she's been rubbing at her ear and rubbing at her jaw. But I am telling you, when we grab the owie and she rubs that owie on and then we grab um, Copaiba, she rubs it on. She actually will chew on that one. She's had that so much when she does that her demeanor changes her mood changes and when it starts bugging again she'll come up and say oh 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 and she wants her oil man she wants it so when I'm talking to somebody with kids I'm going to talk about stuff that relates to something that would matter to them, right? So making sure they've got that owie, having it available, having it in their purse, because when you're out and about playing and they bump their knee or their elbow or their whatever because they're children, this is going to be one you're going to reach for or the one you're going to grab. So making sure that your stories line up with the people that you're chatting with and that it's pertinent to them, right? So sharing your introduction. How were you introduced to Young Living? Y'all heard mine? Y'all, you probably heard it a thousand times. That's how I was introduced. So I share that. I also share that I got started with um, an everyday oil kit, which was the premium starter kit at the time, and raindrops, because raindrops were what was applied to my body, and it was like, holy smoly, right? So those are what I got started with. What did you get started with? What did you love about it? What did you do with it? How did you do it? What were you doing? And if you're brand new and you're like, Shannon, I don't really have any stories, then start playing with more of the oils and, and take one day and just take one oil out of your premium starter kit and use it all day long. So use that lavender, put it put it on your chest, put it on your face, um, put it on your knees, put it on all the different places, put it in your diffuser and think about how, how did you feel with the lavender? What happened with the lavender? What did you do with it? Then do the same thing with your lavender. Do this, I'm sorry, do the same thing with your peppermint or your thieves or the whatever you have so you can create those experiences so you can turn around and share them. You can also share stories from what you hear in the classes, what you hear up on stage, all of the different videos that Young Living does, you can turn around and share those as well. You can say, I was in a class and my girlfriend was telling us that, what does that turn it into? It turns it into a story and the story is what's going to make that difference for you because that's the way the brain is wired. So start writing those things out and, and practice. I know it's weird. I know we are not used to looking at ourselves in a mirror or on a video and talk. But practice. Practice your 10 second quickie that you can do to a stranger in a store. Practice that. Practice your um, three minute story that you would tell if you were doing a one on one. Practice it. Say it. Change it. Write it out. Say it over and over until it becomes so habitual that you're able to share those stories all the time that you're able to get that information out there share like my hair when you know i was in the hospital for uh, three months and i had these spots where i had no hair growing at all and my hair was really thin because i had been so insanely sick but I have been doing our mermaid hairspray and using our shampoo and our conditioner and making sure I'm getting our master formula. Y'all, master formula is amazing for what it does for your hair. So many other things, but it's great for it. And I've got all 
this, I've got thick hair again. I've got growth that is like out this far that is just, just amazing watching the difference. You know, I'm almost 60 years old and my hair is still long and thick and all those good things. And I attribute it to using things like my master formula, using things like our Super B, so important. Using our Ninja Red, so many things I can't even tell you. But that zinc that's in there, gonna do great things for your hair. Using the Mermaid hairspray, not hairspray, it is a hairspray. You're spraying it all over and massaging it in your hair. So learning to be able to grab a quick piece of what you are doing and sharing that pertinent information is gonna be huge for you. But now you also have to ask yourself, ready? This is the important part. Why are you telling the story? What's the reason for the story? Are you telling a 10 second one because you just met a stranger and you wanna be able to do a follow up where you guys can sit down and do a one on one? Are you telling your story because you've seen somebody post something and they've got a concern, a worry, and you're doing a private message? What's the reason behind the story? What is the outcome? What are you looking to happen at the end? At the end of the conversation, what's your goal? Is it a one-on-one? -on -one? Is it that you want them to get one of the premium starter kits? Is it that it's somebody that's already on your team and you want them to turn around and tell other people? You wanna get in front of other people? Think about the reason for the story and then make sure you have the wrap up. You say something like, oh my gosh, all that stuff for my hair, are you kidding? Yeah, there's some stuff you can do. Let's go ahead and get you some and see what happens in 90 days with your hair. Oh my gosh, you've got littles, we've got this great kit that yeah, it's got that tummy jize in there, it's got that um, owie, it's got uh, the brain one, our genius, it's gonna be amazing. Let's go ahead and grab that for you. Oh my gosh, you need that boost of energy in the afternoon? <gasps> we need to get you that Ninja Rod. We've got this great kit, it's gonna get you your Ninja Rod and your Nitro comes in there. It's gonna be a great way to be able to get all that stuff. Let's go ahead and get you some because the stories are going to get you to the spot where all you have to do is finish it and give them an opportunity to grab whatever it was you were talking about, whether you're doing it with a wish list, whether you're online, however you're doing it, you have to take the story and do something with it. Take the story and set them up for a one-on-one. -on -one. Take the story and get them to share it with other people. Take the story and get them to get their premium kit. The story is the tool. It's what gets you them emotionally connected to you and you specifically. The importance of stories, listen, there are a thousand people that are selling Young Living Essential Oils, right? So that's a good product. We love our Young Living. There's all kinds of people selling it. But the people that you are talking with are going to be drawn to you because of your personality and the stories, the community that you're able to create is where that change, that connection happens so that they're with you and they're gonna remember what you said and how you made them feel and the emotional bond that you gave to them via the story. The other stuff happens afterwards. That's when you're able to get them to let you talk to other people. Do you know one of the reasons why I think I'm so successful in enrolling a new person and getting them to let me talk to other people as well? It's because I think I make that emotional connection and they feel safe with me. They're like, oh, I trust you. You're gonna take good care of my people. You're gonna make them feel good. You made me feel so good. I want them to feel so good. And so they're okay with letting me partner because I do make it light and easy. Like I said, a lot of times you guys see the in-depth classes that I teach on products and you think that's what I do, but it is not how I introduce new people. New people are introduced via stories. So each product, there's a, snor a story, a snorry, there's a story connection to that product and how they're gonna be able to use it in their own home. So this month I'm doing something a little bit different. So we're still doing our sensational supplements every Tuesday at one, and then we're doing our brand partners every Thursday at one, but I'm adding another series, and it's the Healthy You series that we're going to be doing on Saturdays at 1 o'clock. It'll be a different topic each week, but this is going to be showing you how I introduce from different directions brand new people. So the first one we're doing is um, too much and not enough. Too much and not enough and what that means in, um, in our life that... So many times we are told we're too much. We, we do too much research. We are too into this, you're too into that. You're too argumentative. You, you have an opinion and you, you tell people a lot about it and you're just too much. 
and at the same time we're not enough we don't we don't get things done we don't do what we said we we're gonna do we don't accomplish the things we're not smart enough we're not and we're, we're trying to play both roles and try to make everybody happy and uh, you can't you can't do that it means you'd have to have a mask for each and every person that you you are with from your spouse to your children to the people that you work with to the people you go to church with and that's no way to live and I'm going to be talking about what that means and how we can make changes and and um, it's a little bit about sharing your story and being authentically you listen we were created you were created to be amazing you have inside you skills and abilities that other people don't have. Your story is unique to you, and you get to choose what you do with that. And Saturday, I, I, May 6th, May something, you can go to shannonhudsonwild.com to find out when that class is. And, and I'm doing one on your gut microbiome and the brain connection. What What is the connection there? How does it work? And again, this is for brand new people. So just so you know, if you... Share that link for me teaching those classes or you invite people to the video please know I tell them to get back with the person that shared it with them I tell them that you're their contact and your information so that they can hook back up with you so it's a tool that you can use maybe you don't feel like you're able to share your story um, in a way that really gets people to enroll send them to those videos because that's what I'm going to be doing and or go to shannonhudsonwild.com and you can pull up all of the PowerPoints that I have taught for years that I make free and available for everybody and you can teach bits of those classes yourself and incorporate your story your who you are and what you're doing or those one-on-ones -on that you're having people meet at your home or you're going to people's homes you can use those tools to teach a lot of different things a lot of different things and that really helps to get um, your long-term people that have been in that they're gonna learn about other products that maybe they didn't hear in that first oily class or that first ninja red class that's what some of those others are about so I hope it gave you um, a little bit of a clarity on why we have to develop our story why we have to practice our story and most importantly why we need to share our story the more you share your story the better you're gonna do and there's a saying that says um, stories oh I just lost it somebody even typed it for me where'd it go yes facts tell stories sell thank you Sharon facts tell stories stories sell and it's the emotional connection that finishes it so if you will share your story with an end point you share it and then you say let's whatever it is let's go ahead and have a couple people come to your home oh my gosh let's go ahead and get you started let's go ahead and grab that ninja rad kit do you want to get the ninja rad kit and the the nitro the whatever it is giving them the option for both all right you guys trying to keep these short and sweet and I will see you on the next video, whatever that happens to be. God bless, friends.